In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload and import CSV files into RStudio Cloud so that you can use them on a project. Now, I'm going to be starting from complete scratch. So I'm actually going to show you how to install the necessary libraries and then go and, and we'll do the upload and import. Um, so the first thing that we are going to want to do is download the files that we are going to be wanting to upload. Okay? So if you go to my email that I send you, you can see that I, I'll send you the files, or maybe you'll have to go to Google Classroom. But the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download those. Click Download on these. See that they're downloaded. And when you click on that, it actually saves it to a folder on your computer called Downloads. So then we'll go to RStudio Cloud, and we'll upload the file. And so I'm only going to do one of those. The, the example, I'm only going to do the London Airbnb data set. So we'll choose that and we'll upload okay now just because it's uploaded and it's in our, our project here does not mean that it is actually imported into our script where we can use it so what we need to do next then is we need to import it well if you try to import this without installing the read r library it's not going to work okay so let's go ahead create a new script first thing we'll do is we're going to install dot packages Okay. And then we need to install the read R. Okay, now, right now, this uh, computer doesn't know what the read R packages are. So you need to actually put it in quotes. Later on, once we actually install this package, it'll know what read R is and we don't have to put the quotes around it. But for this first time, we need to do that. And when we press Control Enter, we'll see that it starts to install. And this takes eh, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes tops. Um, so you just have to get a little bit of time. So I'll fast forward through this part. All right, now, <clears throat> once we see this blue arrow in our console, we know that the install is done. And so then we can move to the next part where we're actually going to call the read R package. So to do that, we're going to do library. And then we need to put the name. So it's read R. And we just installed it, so now we're going to call it and we're going to use it in the script. Control Enter. And then it runs that. Now, the whole reason we did this is because there's this function, it's the read CSV function. So it'll read a, a CSV file into this R environment. So if we want to do that, we need to first create a new name for the object that we're going to be creating. So in this case, if we're uploading this London Airbnb data, if we would call it London. And then we have to use our assignment operator, which is the left than sign, the dash, and then the function is read.csv. And then in the parentheses, we need to put in quotes the name of the file. So in this case, it's London Airbnb.csv. Capitalization needs to be exact. It needs to be exactly how it looks like in your file. London Airbnb.csv. And then when you run that, you see that now we have this data. So, wow, there's a lot of Airbnbs in London. There's 77,136 um, different Airbnbs listed in London. And obviously, we have the 16 variables. So, price is one of those variables, and that's what we're going to be looking at in the practice. Hope this helps. We'll see you later.